Hi, my name is Dara Aduman. I'm going to show you how to customize UP Easy Events Pro WordPress plugin through plugin settings. Let's click on settings. There are a couple of tabs available here. Let's click on venues tab, for example, to just showcase what's, what are the, op what the options are available. Simple tab, you can customize single templates, archive templates, you can change the attributes, availability, relationships, and then also you can just customize the taxonomies available over here categories tags and st event statuses you can also customize the forms this is the rsvp form customization area if you'd like to limit rsvp requests rsvps to uh, logged in users you can change it from there if the logged in if the user is not logged in, registration or login form will show up. Under global tab, there are some options available. Under miscellaneous tab, there are some admin tools are available. Google Maps API key is the important part here. You need to own your own. Otherwise, Google is gonna give you errors. And under tools tab, you can disable, enable EMD templating system, and you can just do custom CSS for plugin pages only. Let's go to appearances and widgets area there's emd widget area available for plugin pages only i just dragged in some uh, widgets here and let's go back to uh, settings and change the settings for a sidebar or an event page let's switch it to uh, left sidebar instead of the right sidebar display so if you refresh the page the sidebar is going to show on it's going to be displayed on the uh, left hand side instead of the right hand side and let's change it to full width which is equivalent to removing the sidebar altogether click save and refresh the page and the event page is going to be full width the sidebar the other, th the other thing we can do is we can remove uh, some of the sections of the event page let's remove the performance for example the sections are displayed under uh, relationships so let's remove the performers just hide it from the uh, front end save as you can see performance section is here displayed after the page refresh the sections will, will be the performance section will be removed thanks for watching